You're watching the Seafood News Weekly video brought to you by Comtel, which will be receiving a complete redesign in 2020. Subscribers who utilize Comtel to track market quotations, analyze trends, and stay on top of key industry news will see a host of new features. Streamlined navigation, customizable dashboards, filtering options, quick access to your favorite reports, and more will make Comtel an even more valuable tool for those impacted by the protein markets. I'm News Assistant Andrea Torsiello. And I'm News Assistant Ryan Doyle. In today's top story, Taiwanese tuna company FCF Fisheries stalking horse bid for Bumblebee Foods was successful, according to a filing in the U.S. Bankruptcy Court for the District of Delaware. The auction for Bumblebee that was scheduled for January 23rd was canceled as no other bids were submitted before the January 20th deadline. The successful bid will be presented by Bumblebee's debtors at a sale hearing on January 23rd. Four days prior to the announcement of the successful bid, the Department of Justice filed an objection to Bumblebee's sale to FCF. The DOJ is looking for an explanation as to how FCF will be able to handle the penalty it placed on Bumblebee following its guilty plea to price-fixing canned tuna in 2017. FCF previously agreed to pay $17 million of the company's $25 million criminal fine. Thanks, Ryan. In other tuna news, a California federal judge denied a proposed $6.5 million settlement between commercial food preparers and Chicken of the Sea in regards to the price fixing of canned tuna. California federal judge Janice L. San Martino ruled the settlement does not provide adequate relief to the class. Back in May, Chicken of the Sea reached a tentative deal that would have settled the class action suit with the food preparers that were impacted by the price fixing. The company then filed court papers, but the deal was denied last week. San Martino broke down several problems with the agreement, ruling that the motion can be refiled if the issues are addressed. Thanks, Andrea. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention has upped their travel health notice for China from a watch level 1 to alert level 2 after the first case of coronavirus was confirmed in the U.S. The CDC confirmed the case in Washington on Tuesday. The patient, who has not been named, had recently returned from Wuhan, China, which had been dealing with an outbreak of pneumonia caused by coronavirus since mid-December. The patient reportedly had no symptoms while on his flight or when he arrived at the Seattle-Tacoma International Airport on January 15th. However, a few days later, he contacted a doctor after v developing a fever and cough. The pneumonia outbreak was initially linked to South China Seafood City, as a number of vendors and dealers who worked at the market were some of the initial cases. And finally, the USDA's 2018 Census of Aquaculture provided a look into the aquaculture industry in the United States. The USDA collected information including production methods, production sales, and surface water acres to get a scope of fish farming in the country. Aquaculture generated $1.5 billion in 2018, just over a 10% increase from 2013. The number of fish farms in the country did see a minor drop from 3,093 to 2,993 from 2013 to 2018. Mississippi, Washington, Louisiana, Virginia, and California accounted for 51% of the sales and 37% of the farms in 2018. Mississippi topped the list by generating $230.7 million in sales. The state is home to 205 catfish farms, which represents the backbone of its aquaculture sales. And that's the guacamole. Be sure to head over to SeafoodNews.com or visit the Seafood tab in Comtel for a comprehensive look at the latest market and industry news. And don't forget to listen to a new episode of the Seafood News podcast released on SoundCloud every Monday. Thanks for watching.